Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your Samsung TV, it just isn't powering on or just, you know, loading those specific applications that are installed on your TV. So these can include like the YouTube app, Netflix app, whatever the case is. Now, majority of the time why this ends up happening is mostly because randomly your TV may be disconnected from the Wi-Fi or maybe your TV is just having some glitches. So what you can do here, the easiest way to, you know, fix this for the most part is to fully completely turn off your TV so just, you know, pretty much turn it off. But you also want to go ahead and unplug the TV and just leave it unplugged for a few minutes. So you can just leave it unplugged. They say, you know, Samsung says to leave it plugged in for 30 seconds. I'll probably leave it unplugged for maybe a minute or two. And once it's fully done and once you think it's all good, all you have to do in this specific situation is to go ahead and load, you know, plug your TV back in and you want to turn the TV back on. Now at this point, what's going to happen is your TV is going to go ahead and pretty much just load up as normal. And here is where you want to go ahead and try loading it to the applications once more. So what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and click the power button on your specific you know, TV, and you want to go ahead and power the TV back on. Like I mentioned, a majority of the time, this will probably end up fixing it, and this is probably all you have to do. Now let's say you do that and that still doesn't work. Well, the next thing I'd recommend doing is to actually go ahead and make sure your TV is, you know, kind of up to date. So here you can go inside of your system settings. You want to go click support and you want to go and click on software update and you want to see if there's an update available for your TV. Now, like I mentioned, for a majority of people out there, this is probably all you have to do is to go ahead and update your TV. And that's pretty much it. As at that point, you are pretty much good to go. And you can go ahead and try opening up those applications again and see if it fixed it. If it's not, you can try, you know, reinstalling the app on your TV. And you can also try factory resetting your TV and reinstalling the apps that way. So that's pretty much how to do it for the most part. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.